Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to build your killer app idea without needing any technical experience. I'm going to show you how I built this app here without writing a single line of code using entirely AI. Because as a complete beginner, it can be incredibly daunting knowing which tools to use. It gets even more complicated when you start looking at the tech that's needed. Which coding language do we even write it? Do we use something like Python? Maybe you've heard of something like Next.js. And then once you've done all of that, how does it turn from code on your computer into a functioning app that people can actually sign up and use? How do we even deploy it? So for the next 10 minutes, I'm here to clear up all of that confusion and show you exactly what you need to do to get your app deployed. So step one is figure out what tool we're going to use to build our app. We could use Lovable, Bolt, Replit, Cursor, or any of these tools. They all pretty much do the same thing. If you're a complete beginner and you've never built anything before, Lovable is a great place to start. If you're a little bit more experienced or you want to have a little bit more longevity in the app and a bit more control, you want to use something like Cursor. But realistically, what it all comes down to is pricing and cost. You want to make sure that you get the most out of the AI because you don't want to be in a position like this guy who spent $250 in his first month on AI tokens or this guy who is just burning through his AI credits. Most people spend hundreds of dollars building an app that they never actually deploy. And most of that cost comes from debugging because the current process for fixing bugs is just copying the error coming into our AI coding tool, pasting it in and simply saying, please fix this. And the problem with this is every time we send a message like this, it costs us more money. Now on the face of it, AI coding seems quite cheap. If we go to Lovable, for example, it's just $25 per month to build our first app. But when we actually look a little bit deeper, we only get 100 monthly credits for that price and five additional credits per day. You're going to burn through those credits in your first day. And if we want to add more tokens, we could end up spending hundreds of dollars per month. And that leads us to step two. Before we start building, we need to make sure we have the foundations and the groundwork set up. So for that, we're going to use something like the CodeSpring boilerplate, because no matter what app you're building, they will always need the same foundations. If we look at Slack, for example, to use it, we need to first go ahead and create an account. Even if we look at Lovable, before we get started, we have to go ahead and create an account. Let's say we wanted to build a social media networking site like Facebook. Again, we would still need to create an account before we can actually use it. So every app you build, first of all, needs to have accounts created. So how do you create user accounts in your app? Well, the first thing you would probably do is come to the chat and ask the AI to integrate user accounts into your app. But that's totally insane. We're going to be burning through all of our credits, creating simple little things like user accounts and not using those credits on things we actually want to be building like you and features. So what else do we need? Well, we probably should set up payments in our app. We want to be able to charge our users to use our app. That's how we're turning this into a business. Now, again, you could come into your favorite AI builder and just say, I want to build payments into my app. But if you've tried this before, you'll know it's incredibly difficult to get working and it's always full of bugs. And something like user accounts and payments should never be vibe coded. This is the door to your app. If users can't sign up and they can't pay, they will never use your app and your business will not work. You don't want to be having bugs in these areas. So what we're going to do instead is use code spring where it's actually going to come with a boilerplate already set up with user accounts already built, payments already integrated, and database already linked. And on top of that, we've already done a full security audit of this code. So you know for a fact, whatever app you build on top of this template, you're not going to get hacked and your user information will never be leaked. Now that leads us on to step three. Before we start building, we should start planning. Because with vibe coding comes vibe debugging. Remember our bugs from earlier. Most users will end up just prompting something like, please fix this. But our philosophy is why would you spend all of your time and credits on fixing bugs when you could just make a much better prompt first of all and avoid those bugs altogether. And this is why you need to do a heavy planning stage. And you can do all of this inside CodeSpring. For example, we could just start off with building an AI chatbot builder app. We describe the project we want to build, we list the features, and then we pick our starter template. Now we recommend you use the CodeSpring starter template because it's already got user accounts set up, payments already integrated, and database already built. But if you want to build in something like Lovable, or bolts, then you can always select one of these templates. Once we've done that, we just hit generate with AI. Now here's one that I've already prepared. You can see it takes all of the features for our app and it describes exactly how we want those features to work. So we build a knowledge base on our app first before we even start building. Imagine if Cursor, Notion and a whiteboard had a baby. That's exactly what we're doing here. 
And the best part about all of that is I didn't have to write any of it. The AI plans all of this out for us. If we wanted to, we could go in and tweak and customize and tailor things to our heart's content. And that leads us on to step four. Now we front loaded all of that heavy lifting onto CodeSpring. We didn't have to do any of that work. We can just come to any of our features, click this plus button and generate what's called a product requirement doc, which is basically compressing over 30 or 50 prompts of information on how to build that feature. So we're gonna be burning through our credits at a significantly slower rate, making it so much quicker, easier and cheaper to build your app. And the best part is all of this planning is done on top of the boilerplate from earlier, which means the AI already has an existing code base to plan on top of. It makes it so much quicker, smoother, and easier to build features and plug them in. We don't have to worry about any of the complex stuff. So let's just quickly summarize. We wanna use Cursor to build our apps. We wanna create detailed plans using CodeSpring and, and duplicate the CodeSpring boilerplate. Planning out all of our app builds, so we can just download detailed documentation on how to build our app, giving it straight to the AI to build it for us, ultimately saving us hundreds of dollars a month in AI development costs. Now we're always adding in new features inside CodeSpring. As of filming this video, it's currently only £29 a month. The link is down below in the description. But if you're still stuck or confused, inside CodeSpring, we have a whole host of different courses. This course specifically is gonna show you how to duplicate the CodeSpring boilerplate, get it set up and running, and build your first app on top of it. We're gonna show you how to set up things like databases and also get your app deployed. So by grabbing a CodeSpring subscription, you are guaranteed to become a SaaS founder today. And on top of all of that, we're rolling out a new feature in the next couple of weeks, which will integrate CodeSpring directly into Cursor. So the changes that you make inside your mind map will be instantly reflected inside Cursor. And the same goes the other way, meaning you have to spend less time looking at all of this scary code and you can spend more time planning out your apps in a visual way that makes sense to you. Now, obviously this video was demonstrating how you can build apps using AI and CodeSpring is there to make things quicker, easier, cheaper, and simpler for you. If you wanna grab a subscription, the link is down below. If you have any questions or any video ideas, let us know in the comments.